You want to know the simple process of blood donation? So on the other day, I and my friend got an opportunity to go back to the blood bank and donate. It was the 15th of February, Saturday. I thought, why not take you through this simple creative process? Many of you are afraid. I've talked to many of my friends and they are afraid of donating blood, but I'm gonna take you through this simple creative process of blood donating. Many of you are eligible, many of you are generous, you want to donate, but probably you don't know how the process is. And for those of you that are donors like me, feel free to comment down below. How was your first experience when you donated blood? But for that very cause, we are ending blood shortage in Uganda. Last time I was watching the news and the blood banks almost empty. People are dying because there is no blood. So for that very cause, ending blood shortage in Uganda, this is an addition to the voices, to the many voices that have been asking, that have been pleading with you guys. If you're in Uganda and you're eligible to donate, please, after watching this video, make sure you go and save a life. Let's get into the video. Usually Nakasero Blood Bank opens at 9 a.m. on Saturdays and closes around midday or 1 p.m. Yeah, so the first thing you do is to fill a card. Are you notifying them that you're ready to save a life? You're healthy, you're capable, you're eligible, you're generous, and you want to save a life? Yeah, there are some questions, very easy questions. You answer them. So after you've filled a card, the second step is to simply go measure your way. So after you've measured your weight, um, they check whether you're eligible. So what they do, they get, um, they pierce the finger, any of the fingers. After piercing it, they get that drop and then drop it into um, that blue solution that you see. I think it's called copper 2 sulfate. So when the drop of blood sinks in, man, that means you're eligible. But, but if it doesn't, then you need to try again and come back the next time. Probably you, you didn't eat well. By the way, before we go any further, before you go for any blood donations, you have to make sure you've eaten enough supper. You have to make sure you've eaten breakfast before you go for a donation. It's very, very, very much important. After the drop has sunk, it's a clear indication that yes, you have enough blood for you and enough blood to share. It's to check your blood pressure. So after that, um, the next thing is uh, the blood donation process. So when you enter the, the donation room, first things first, put the bags on the hook. So I put the bags on the hook, then this guy tells me, hey man, choose a bed of yourself. As you can see, the beds are, are empty. The beds are empty. There are six beds and all of them are empty. Why? Because probably people are not sensitized. That's why we are doing this. So that we can sensitize as many people as possible, those that are eligible, those that are generous, those that are capable, those that love to save lives, those that are heroes, those that are heroines to some people. Please, go and donate blood. Uganda needs you. So after I chose my favorite bed, actually my friend went first. So they worked on him.
after, after a few minutes, five minutes, he was done. Can I tell you a secret? That needle prick, it doesn't pain. It does not hurt. It doesn't hurt. It does not hurt. Let no one tell you that it hurts. Just because it's big, it ain't going to kill you. Don't fear that. Let your joy of saving a life, let your passion of saving a life, let your joy of donating override the fear of that needle. Because when you overthink it, it's just a small needle prick that is going to unleash the superhero that you are, the lifesaver that you are. So after we had donated, we went into um, a sort of a room and then they gave us some soda and some biscuits for glucose just to, you know, just to build up some small energy, just to, you know, just to build up some small energy, you know. You know, after donating blood, you need some energy, some small energy. And then it was time for us to say bye. That is how simple this process is. How was yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. So, it's normal. You don't know what you're talking about. So, that is how a simple process of that donation ended. That is how it is. It ain't complex, it ain't complicated like people are telling you, it ain't scary like people are telling you, you know, it's that simple. And as we're ending this video, I want you to know that thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle. And the life of that candle will not be shortened. Lives and lives and lives and lives can be saved by your donation. If all of us have this same mentality, just imagine how we can end the blood shortage in our nations, in Uganda, in wherever you are, in whichever state that you are. Yes, you can. Be generous with your light, friends. If you like this video, maybe consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with as many people as possible. Share it on Facebook, Instagram. Share it on your WhatsApp. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless you. So in this video, I'ma show you, I'ma show you, I'ma take 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 you through the process.